Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Super Mario RPG! In the last episode, we made our, well, started making our way through Land's End in search for our next star. And of course, last episode, we also got ourselves a star. So, we'll be making our way through the second half, or we'll probably be able to make our way through the second half of the Land's End area. Also, did I heal? I did not heal during, uh, before this fight. Whoops. That's fine. Uh, first time we've seen stingers in, I think, since the forest maze? Oh, Gino gets a once again. I could probably end this fight now. Yep. Nice. Princess got shroomed for nothing. Alright, so... Um... Princess, you can... Heal everybody. There we go. Alright, um, we also have the return of these spinning flowers, so that's nice. Excuse me. Also, you can see that these bees are actually... Or, well, these stingers are moving around and, like, pollinating the flowers is basically what they're doing, so that's kind of cool. Uh, princess gets poisoned, but that's fine. You gotta say, though, Princess Peach... Princess... Princess Toadstool... Isn't, like, completely devoid of offense. Obviously, she doesn't have, like, powerful offensive abilities, which I haven't even... I don't think I've even shown off her other ability, have I? I don't know if I have. Because she recently got... Oh, well, she did get comeback, which I haven't shown yet. Sleepy time... Eh. I'll show it a little bit later. You can, you can guess what it does. I think it's our first instance of a status move. I think. We'll have to see. Oh, oops. Jumped a little too early. Oh, wait. This is where I'm supposed to go. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Um, at least Gino can blast them. They don't have too much health. Uh, Gino's gonna get... Oh, wait, no, he didn't get shroomed. Oh, yeah, because he's got the safety badge. That's why. Well, I d actually couldn't really do anything about that. Oh, well, I'll just pick them off one by one. Guard that. Missed. Um... I don't, I don't remember if we ever got a, afflicted with the mushroom status earlier in the game. But basically how it works, you can't do any actions. You can guard, I think. You might be able to guard. But you also... Oh, Gino gets a level up to 13. So when you get turned into a mushroom, you also regenerate HP. I'm not sure how much. It looks like it's almost a percentage of how much max HP you have per turn. Um... I'm gonna go HP. It's still funny how Gino does have the most HP, but it's also to um, compensate for his low defenses, so it, you know, keeps him alive. Guard that. Alright, Princess, uh, sleep of time. Uh, let's try it on the Octavator. So you want to rotate the control pad. And it didn't work. So, basically, you'll start rotating the control pad as fast as you can, and then it might put them to sleep. Emphasis on the might. I mean, you can use it. I don't particularly use status because it's better to just end the fight by, you know, smacking things. But, you know. Oh, he gets a double turn. Somehow Gino doesn't... Go fast enough to do that, impressively. And we can't really show comeback right now, 
we'll probably, well actually I don't know if we'll ever end up showing it anytime soon. Which I guess is not a bad thing. Anyways, you want to stand on this flower and you want to, j excuse me, you want to jump to get yourself a frog coin off of there and then you go down this way. Um, okay, this is, oh wait, no, this is later. This just connects. So if you were to fall down there, then you can get out of this area a little bit quicker. That's why that exists. All right, we'll take ourselves to the spinning flowers. You can also almost jump on top of each of them. Oh, hey, look where I am. Welcome to the Sky High Bridge. It's a big tourist attraction here. Yahoo! Want to challenge it? No. Oh, you're chicken. I'm not chicken. This is bad. Um, so what the Sky High Bridge is, it's like a jumping puzzle thing. It's... I don't know. I'm Oh, one of those enemies just spawned down there. You saw it. Um, if you jump across normally, you can just uh, slowly move to the side and just press the jump button. So it's not as bad. But... Yeah. Anyways, uh, here's to the second area of Land's End. Ah, I haven't been here in a while. I've been traveling around. Where are you headed? Is it Monstro Chown by any chance? Mayhaps. Yeah. Okay, listen up. Look for a world where the ant pops out and proceed after it. Keep following it and you'll find your way underground. Once there, Monstro Town is just around the corner. I'll see you there. Alright. Um, we're gonna save. So basically what that little Mauser said, so there's these whirlpools and basically what you want to do is, you see that ant? You want to chase after him, which we find these guys before, these are shoguns. So you want to fight these guys, take them out. Pretty tanky, too. Ow. Ooh, good thing that missed. That would have did a lot of damage. Once again, that's one of the uh, attacks that the Pandorite enemy in... I, I don't know. Do all of the chest enemies have the ability to do Carney Kissed? It wouldn't surprise me if they can. But I know the Pandorite in... Ooh. Basically, it's just a super powerful single target attack. I'm thinking of the... Um, the Kurosaurus. That's where the Pandorite was. Chest enemies. I think we've only fought in two of them. Anyways. Uh, uh, I think this is the right one. They like to sometimes shuffle around. Now we're in this area, which has nothing. So... You want to pop out and chase after him again. Unfortunately, we don't have Gino's next ability, or else we could have some fun with some of these battles, but... I know I'm really hyping up that ability, it's also because I just really like it. And it's the reason why I bring Gino into my party. Mostly because of the fact that, you know, this is like the only game he's in, so I want him to get some love. I don't... Uh, can you guard Carney Kiss? You might be able to. But it has such a weird timing. Like, you can press it really late and it doesn't really work. So, I'm not sure. You probably can. Because why would you be able to guard any specials? That would be silly. You get a lot of XP from these guys. Um... Make sure that you go down the one that the ant was in. It'll, like, shuffle a little bit after you beat him. Um, I want to fight that guy. But I want to be careful that I don't die. Um, let's use a flower tab. We actually used all of our flower tabs. Now we're onto our jars and boxes. Got him. Formless. Let's just defend. Or 
Or do you do you have to attack him until the re in order to reveal him? Um, Mario, test it out. Oh, maybe let's let's try a magic attack because I think we did that last time. Um, Mario, just do a jump. Oh yeah, because that technically hits it. Um, the normal attacks don't hit it because they say that it misses. By the way, static E is really cool. Just be just the way that it looks. Some of the special attacks have pretty neat animations for them. Stop spamming it! It is pretty funny that the Geno technically doesn't get hit by it. Um... Yeah, let's... Actually, you know what? No, oh, no, I don't have any single target healing. Um... Let's just use the elixir. Also, I don't think I've ever shown you. Uh, Gino's animation for using an item, he pulls it out of his hat. Stop bullying the princess! Good grief. Leave her alone. Yeah, it was one attack away. Good figures. 30... XP. Alright, chase after him in this spot. Let's deal with these fellas again. Yeah, but this is a pretty darn good spot if you've got enough flowers, since there isn't really an area close that you can get a quick... Well, no, you can just leave the area and come back. But... Yeah, it's a pretty good area if you want to get a decent amount of XP, since all of these guys get pretty decent. Mario gets double defense up. Alright, deal with you. And this should do you in. Nice. Yeah. And you want to go into this one? And if you leave. Oh, hello again. Isn't this incredible? It really does look like the edge of the world, doesn't it? Too spooky for me. I'm heading back to Monstro Town. See ya. Well, we can't do anything here. Can't climb it. So I guess we have to go back. Oh, bye. Oh. No, come back. How do these holes run away from me? There we go. So how does science explain this? Perfect guard, not perfect guard. At least we can defeat one of these guys in a full rotation. So that's good. Mario's getting more defense. Got a perfect guard on there. Let's go. And done. There we go. So, basically, what you want to do, you want to go through, I think it was three ant holes... You want to walk into that area, notice that you can't do anything, then you want to do the same thing one more time until you get into this area. We can drop down. Oh boy, we've got uh, a Spinthra and a Criffid. We'll probably try and take out the Criffid first.
Um, I don't know if it's weak to anything. Ow! Um, let me try a super jump on it. Oh, well, that wasn't very good. Blast! Ooh, that... Mmm. That hurts. Please don't do any damage. Okay. Uh, it's group hug. There we go. Well. Peach got scrowed. Why won't you die? There we go. Defense up. That's so why we got the safety badge. Um, I think we showed Scarecrow. You just can't normal attack. Um, therapy yourself. And because it's the princess, she can heal her own status, so that's good. Give her to the spin threat, please. These enemies are mean. He missed himself. How did... What? How do you even do that? 136. Nice. Mario gets to level 14. Learns Ultra Jump. Um, ooh, might have to go for the special. Mallow also should get a level up, because they have the exact same XP. Mallow learns Snowy. The first instance of a ice attack. Good against fire enemies. I know, who would have thunk? Wow, these fights are a nightmare. Um... Let's get rid of the shy away. Or not. Let's not do that. Ow. Um, we probably will be fine. There we go. Uh, then we'll do what the Chewies. You pretty much always want to... Oh, great. Good thing you're targeting Gino. Yeah, you always want to target the Gekets last, since they can also do damage to friendlies, so there's not much of a reason to deal with them first. Especially because they're not particularly strong either. Alright. What did I get? Did I get like a syrup or something? Yeah, honey syrup. Cool, I'll take it. Um, let's do a group hug because this place is a nightmare. And I forgot that that was there. Run! Ho <laughs> ho ho! Got tons of level ups. Gino gets level 14. Ooh, Gino Blast! This is what I've been waiting for. And magic up. Yeah, definitely gonna take it. Princess gets to level 14. Doesn't get anything new, but that's fine. Um. By the way, I believe her magic attack also incorporates how much healing she does, so it's pretty good to take it. Bowser! You take some damage. Because I'm never boosting Bowser special, because it's terrible. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. By the way, um, I should probably mention something. If you want to, like, infinitely XP farm... You can save up there, 
Uh, this is probably one of my favorite spots for it too, if you end up doing it. Save up there, hit the superstar, go all the way through, and then die. Like, game over. And then you'll get sent back to this save before you hit the superstar. But, what's interesting about this game is that it doesn't reset your XP. You just keep all the XP that you just got, even if you lost. It all carries over. Also, we have 999 coins. Because, of course, we do. If you are ever short in money in this game, then you're probably playing the game wrong. Also, there's a guy back here. You looking for a star? I'll sell you one for 400 coins. Yeah, if you talk to that guy, you can get a superstar and go run over all of these guys. Welcome to Bilom Temple. Oh, come on. Stay right there. All right. Well, I'm definitely not getting him now. Hi there. For under corns, a shortcut will get you back to the surface. No thanks. Ugh. I can't even get him. Darn. Oh, more coins that I don't need. Do you want your fortune told? It would cost 50 coins. Not right now. Um, I don't think we need anything else here. I think I missed a chest. Hold on. Alright, so we missed something back in... Here, I'll actually take this. Back in the earlier part of Land's End. Oh! That's... Oh, that's really weird. Yeah, if you jump... So if you jump in here... Obviously, I didn't know this was a thing before. That's really weird. I knew there was, like, a spot that you had to go... Also, you can jump over these guys. Where is... Where is this chest... There we go. It's a really weird spot. Let me jump over you. Also, there's a hidden chest. Is it here? It's either here or it's... There it is. Okay. Um... Do I... Do I just keep going this way? I think so. Oh, yeah, you go down and then around. And... There's a shot... What? I got into a battle with you? I thought you were a flying enemy. There's a ribby. Well, actually, you know what? This is a great... This is a great time to do something. Gino has now learned Gino Blast. As you can see, it costs 12 flowers, but you'll see why. Yeah, that's right. Gino can now hit all enemies. I know it didn't do a lot of damage, but I swear it's a great move. <laughs> Stop hitting the princess! Um, let's get rid of these shy aways. Lucky. go take care of you lucky wow that did a lot of damage I got 68 coins from that battle why would I need that many well, this looks weird uh, there's a recovery shroom which is Actually, pretty nicely timed. And if you jump up here. Huh. This place should look familiar. Get a cricket jam. Yeah, that's right. We're back in Kiro Sewers, believe it or not. Weird to think about. 
So now... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go to the world map. I don't want to walk through that anymore. <laughs> oh. You know what? Whatever. Free HP, Max. I'll take it. Also, I just realized everybody now has over 100 HP. Looks pretty good. Yeah, 103, 127, and 114. 266. Alright, um... Thirty-six coins. Hey, I got a frog coin. One extra coin. Incredible. Yay, I made it to the <laughs> the map. All right, let me go back to Land's End, which is way, way over here. All right, and with that probably gonna end the episode here we didn't actually get to our destination but we are very close to it we did at least discover the Bilom temple which is good so on the next episode we will be of course carrying onwards I had to take that little detour to get that extra chest that i forgot about but in the end we got pretty much everything that we needed to in land's end so in the next episode we'll be moving on to the Bilom temple so until next time, I'll see you guys later. So, have a good one, and bye bye